to Marine Detail Supply Company, setting the standard for the marine detailing industry. We set the standard. We are here at the Marine Detail Supply Company headquarters in Fort Myers, and we actually have the metal magician himself, Mr. Ollie from Flitz, that's going to go through and show everyone out there that really, you know, has those questions about how do I polish aluminum or how do I get my metal, you know, restored. Ollie, I know we have this uh, 23 foot Parker behind us that's got some issues with the trailer and some issues with the, uh, the actual piping on there, which is, I would say, pretty common. I'm excited to see what Blitz is able to do with it. Okay, let's go to work. Let's, let's go to work. Done. All right, Ollie. So what do we have here, man? Ken, first of all, it's a three-step program. What we're going to start with, we're going to start with what they call metal pre-clean. This is very similar to an acid pipe, but it's not acid, it's made of salt. And if anybody here has ever used acid, especially on a boat or on aluminum, you know every time you put acid on metal, it all turns white. Yeah. One thing about pre-clean, that will not happen. And because the pre-clean is a salt-based material, it's safe on your skin, safe on decals, safe on fiberglass, but just watch, as soon as I touch this copper, what happens? Instantly, it takes that oxidation right off that fast. Wow. Now this chemical, it's still a very aggressive, but as you can see, it keeps on working. The unique thing about it is, not that we're selling copper cleaner, but I'm gonna take a little flitz polish, put a very small amount on here, a very light rub, and you can see how fast I can bring that copper back to a brilliant finish like that. So the concept here, when you use a pre-clean first, it takes the nasty oxidation and corrosion off for you, so you're not working that hard. Now, we're down to bare aluminum, and we need to polish it. So the next step here, we're gonna take the flitz polish. You don't wanna overuse it, because as you know in polishing, it all tends to spread all over. Once I've applied it on the aluminum like I'm doing, I'm gonna take our buffing device. This is what we call our seven inch buffer. And the reason I chose this one, Ken, this one is a little bigger and wider. So when you're trying to do like aluminum diamond plate, or if you're trying to polish a pontoon boat, or something very large, this covers more area because of the width. You can see how the buffer kind of takes shape the way you're doing. And these are made of viscose felt. Most of our competitors are all foam. And as you know, when you hit sharp edges like this nut and bolt with a, with a foam pad, it tears it up immediately. Watch what happens when I take this buffer pad to it. And I take it both feet first. But you can see, I'll just take all the oxidation right off. It doesn't tear it up goes right around that bolt and you're not ending up with all kinds of residue in between. Once this is done, you have finished product. And that was seconds. So the idea behind this, Ken, Flitz is a, definitely a time saver. But the most important part about this whole program is, is a protective coating. And I'm going to pour a little water on it. Just watch how this water rolls off on this aluminum. That's guaranteed to protect between two and three months in salt water. In fresh water, you get four to five months out of it. Let's go in the back of the fender here, Ken. It's right back here by the frame. And of course, this is all aluminum also. This is raw aluminum. This Parker boat is only a few months old, but it does need a little TLC. It's like all boats, you know, laying around. You smear a little bit of flitz polish on top. Again, I put it right around the bolts here and things. Now, when doing this purposely, I just want to show you that by using this, I kind of smoosh it around with the buff ball so it doesn't spit all over. And I go slow first to apply it. Once I've applied it, then I get the speed. I put the pressure on it, and I take my time. And as I'm buffing it, I pull it right back. And you can see, that trigger now, Looks like foam. And that's all that's to it. Now I have a little residue on here, so I take a dry, clean microfiber, wipe off the residue, and if you really want to bring it out to a true mirror finish, that's what we have here. That looks great. Yes. You know, you have rust like on this prop right over here, you can see. Yep. If you have spots where like electrolysis where you get actually white corrosion I call it on your stainless steel and you get away that real high shine. Let's show you how we bring this up. So I'm gonna take a little flitz, 
put directly on top as I'm doing. I don't want to use too much, as I always explain to folks, you can always put on more, but otherwise it slings all over. So I'm going to use a 7 inch buffer in this case because it's a fairly wide area. I'm going to go slow first like I'm doing just to kind of spread the polish around. And once I spread it on there, I put the feet to it. And you'll see. So all I do now is take a microfiber, wipe off a little residue, and you have a really bright chrome looking stainless steel prop again. That's that simple. So again, here we have a cleat stainless steel and chrome. Always a problem getting inside here. I smear the polish on. I take the five inch buff ball in this case because I can get right in between here. You can see how the ball fits right inside the small areas. Kind of smoosh it around the little product so it doesn't spit all over like it's doing. And here in a couple seconds, the cleat looks like a mirror. It's done. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and comment on our content. We encourage engagement and debate. Be on the lookout for more product reviews, tutorials, and interviews just like this. Follow us on social media for free giveaways weekly. See you next time.